this is Lee Sherwood uh, from Lavalley Brunswick Architects. And uh, David Harris is, is leading uh, the show tonight. And I will start talking. I just want confirmation that everyone can hear me. Yep. All right. Yes, yes Lee, take it away. Thank you very much. Um, really, uh, this is the start of doing community forums uh, online. And we have already met a couple of times in person where we talked about uh, enrollment and we talked a little bit about um, all of the important things that were key to project success. Tonight, we're going to talk about two things. Um, next, next slide, please. Uh, we're going to talk about our site evaluation process. And the pro so the process that we've gone through to try to limit sites in the town of Swampscott. And then after that, we're going to talk about traffic, which we all know is near and dear to everyone's heart in Swampscott. So uh, when we first started this a couple of months ago, the, we decided that a, a strong process was in order. You do not have a site that screams out, let's build a school here. And we all know that Swampscott um, is a small uh, geographic community with a lot of wetlands, a lot of ledge, and very little um, land that is left to build on. So our process has been thus. One, the first thing we did was discuss, and we discussed with um, SBC members and other people in town to come up with uh, what we all thought was a good list of uh, different sites. Next. The next part of the project was to um, investigate. Now, we are architects, but we have employed traffic consultants, geotechnical, civil, environmental consultants. Oftentimes, we don't use all of these consultants, but in this particular project, we've used everyone. And so we really, really spent a lot of time looking at various sites. Next. Then we analyzed, and it is our task to be as objective as possible. We know that there are many people in town who have grown up here, who understand Swampscott and, and many of the sites, who know a lot about a lot of these places. But it was our task to look at everything with fresh eyes and to understand them with all of these different facts and the analysis at hand. And lastly, um, our job is to review them with you. Um, we take this very seriously because this is a community effort. So what we're starting to do today is start the, um, start the review process to show you some of our findings and to move on from there. Next. So the very first thing we did um, was to throw a, a wide net on all of Swampscott to understand where all of your town owned properties were. This is available information. So all the red um, um, pieces on there are, are public owned land. Now that's a lot of different places and our job then was to start to limit and to figure out which of these are actually usable and which are not. Because as you know, there's probably not that many that are usable in town. Next. We started with conservation land, um, the town forest in Ewing Woods. So each time that I talk about these, you'll see a red, the red will come up and show you which of these ones we're talking about. Neither of those locations are buildable because they are conservation land and therefore protected. Next. So we eliminate those from our thought. And then there are a lot of other kinds of protected land in Swampscott. Clearly the, um, the Swampscott Cemetery, Jackson Park and Playground, um, Lynn Scott Park is a historically protected and Abbott Park was, is a protected um, land as well. So we could not use any of those sites. Next. So then what we had were um, sites that were wetlands or, or places where because of topography, it was difficult to build. For example, um, Water Tower Hill, which is on the side of that embankment, really can't build a school there. and, and uh, and the town beach is fairly wet as well. Um, Forest Ave right in front of the middle school is, is all wetland and also cannot be built upon. Next. 
Um, and then uh, we have our existing public project locations. So there's a couple locations where you have public housing, which cannot be relocated. You have historic down, town hall and library um, parcels, the fire and police department areas, and Swampscott High School is also already being used, and Clark School as well. So if you take into account all of those places, you can't build on, you click. And as you can see, we're getting fewer and fewer locations that are um, appropriate to try to build on. And lastly, if you look at this, there's lots of little tiny slivers of space. They might be just an, an area here or there. And we anything that was less than an acre, um, Hadley's an acre and a half. So um, anything less than that really is, is really just hard to build on or impossible for a school like this. And some of those were um, areas. So we took those out and we ended up with five uh, sites that had feasibility. Next. So that was a process of elimination. And then the reason we did that is because we really wanted to have a, a laser focus for our um, consultants and, and ourselves to focus in and really analyze these different places. We know after looking at all these that none of these are perfect sites. We know that the DPW site already has a DPW on it and a cliff in the middle, but what if we could build a school there? We know that the middle school site um, already has a middle school, but has land in the back. So we were going to look at that. We know that Stanley has some space and we know that Hadley, although small, has a school on it already. And lastly, we know that Phillips Park uh, is a site that is possible to build on. But I just wanna say that next week, um, today we're really going to focus on uh, traffic, but next week we're going to have a really in-depth study of all of these five sites with analysis of all of our different engineers um, combined so that we can really understand the pros and cons uh, of all of them. Every single one of them has some kinds of issues and there may be a couple sites here that in the end we, just, we really kind of discovered were not very good options. Okay, so we'll have to wait till next week to learn all of that. <laughs>